Hi guys, I am Vinod. Welcome to my YouTube channel Win Civil World. In this uh, video, we are going to have a comparison between conventional cement sand plaster and ready mix plaster. Uh, what is plastering? Plastering is one of the most important construction activity of a building and it is a method of covering rough walls, uneven surface etc. with uh, botar of uh, cement and sand. The plastering provides an even surface for putty, POP and paint finishes. A perfect plaster surface improves the aesthetic looks and durability of buildings. What are the ingredients of plaster? First one is cement which is the main ingredient and other one is sand. These are the ingredients of conventional plastering. These ingredients are mixed with water and applied to the surface. What are the functions of plastering? First thing is that plastering provides a smooth and even surface for putty, POP, paint, etc. And they gives a protection from atmospheric con conditions like rain, heat, moisture, snow, etc. And the plastering can cover cracks, defects, etc. caused during construction stage. What is the common type of plastering? That is cement sand plaster is the most common type of plastering method used. Cement is procured in bags. Sand is available locally and is purchased loose and stocked. And both these ingredients are conveyed and mixed in proportions. The mixed ingredients are mixed with water. And they are applied to the surface and plastered. What are the main problems faced in conventional plaster? The main ingredient of conventional plaster is sand. And sand contains organic impurities and minerals. And sand may not be graded. They got diff diff they are, there is difficulty in maintaining correct proportion during mortar mixing at site. And there will be a scarcity of sand due to government bans on sources. And there will be high wastage of sand. To overcome these issues, ready mix plaster is introduced. Then, what is ready mix plaster? Ready mix plaster consists of OPC cement, preferably 53 grade, and consists of fine graded sand, fly ash, hydrated lime, and polymer additives. These are available in the right proportion and in the ready to use form. The ingredients are mixed with water at site and applied. What are the benefits and features of ready mix plaster? They got high compressive and tensile strength, increases masonry strength and load bearing capacity. Next is ease of application. They are premixed and only water to be added to the added application is very easy and fast next one is shrinkage cracks gradation and particle size is maintained accurately and the raw materials are also tested the compactness is maintained in plaster due to graded sand and hence shrinkage cracks are minimized next is consistency they are factory manufacturing accurate particle size distribution and maintains consistency. Next is ease of proportioning. Easy to maintain mortar ratio. In conventional plaster, it is very difficult to maintain mix proportion in site mix. Next is the generation of wastages. In conventional cement plaster, wastages of sand while storing, screening, conveying, and mixing, and also from the rebound wastages during application. But in the case of ready mix plaster, there is no wastages in storing, mixing and plastering. Ready mix plaster requires very less storage space. 
and they got very good coverage because of its low density and high volume and 15 to 20 square feet for a 40 kg bag for a thickness of 10 to 12 mm. They are very economical because they are got less wastage, fast application, smooth etc. And they, are, they got smooth and durable finish. The surface finish after application is excellent, gives a very durable finish. Availability. Sand is affected by rains and government bans on sources, but ready mix material is uh, uh, available round the clock. Application areas of ready mix plaster, they can be applied on brickwork, fly ash, brick, ASC blocks, concrete surface and CLC blocks and lot many. And the plaster coats. For external plastering, normally it requires two coats. One is the base coat of 8 to 12 mm and there is a finish coat of 8 to 12 mm and total thickness is 18 to 20 mm. And in case of internal plaster, there is only one coat and the first coat thickness will be 8 to 10 mm in single coat. Minimum 2 to 3 days curing is required after base coat before application of final coat. The site preparation and application methodology of ready mix plaster. The chicken mesh or fiber mesh has to be fixed in the column joints and beam joints to avoid cracks. The surface cleaning. The surface should be free from oil, grease, paint, loose plaster, dirt, etc. And wetting of the wall. Dampen the wall before application of ready mix plaster. The plaster has to be mixed with water as per manufacturer mi mixing proportions. Then water the surface and apply the plaster. Uh, this is a comparative statement or rate analysis of ready mix pack plaster. And, um, and the conclusion ready mix plaster is a cost effective and superior option when compared with conventional plaster. You can definitely go with that. Thank you for watching.